Hello, my viewers. You are very welcome. In this video, you will be learning how to completely design reverse concrete slab using robot structural analysis professional. Just as I'm having right on my screen, I'm having a top bar be generated successfully in both direction X and Y, and then I have a bottom bar just as you are seeing being generated in as well both directions. So we will be learning how to design and select the right reinforcement for our reinforced concrete slab successfully in this video. Let us get started. At the first interface of the robot structural analysis professional, we select the template so you can click on new to see more of the template and then you we select this options slab design template this one so click on that all right so this will actually take us to the environment now we want to set the job preferences and the preferences so click on the two right there so we will select the preferences options right there so we have this is already in great return so you have to Make sure it is Great Britain because we will be considering the BS810 in this design. So click on the accept button right there and then get back to job preferences. In the job preferences you see under code, code design, design code load, code combinations, change it to BS810. Alright, so you can leave the rest of this at default for design code right there. Steel and aluminium, we are not considering steel, but you can just choose BS 5950 2000. Okay, so instead for the ROC design, choose BS 810. All right, so after you must make these changes successfully, you can come to the unit and format a used metric options and then click on the save current parameter as default. Just save it as default, yes, option right there. Click on the okay and then. Click on yes option. All right, so having set our job preferences, we proceed to the axis right there. So we can draw the axis slab. So we will be having number of repeat one, and then in the x directions, we will be having a length of six meters right there. And then in the y directions number repeat one so the number right there is going to be abc and then we will have four meters in the y direction click on the applied and okay so we are having a reinforced concrete slab of six meters by four meters all right we proceed to geometry you get to the objects poly contour and then select the contour options so we will drop the contour first all right we just like this click on the closed options the next thing is we want to define this lab so you can get to the geometry as well and then click on the panels so we have only single panels we are going to be designing in this video okay so in the panels dialog we'll come straight away to properties so in the properties select none and then click in this click on this uh, three dotted provisions all right to add this so we we'll click on the new options right there so once you click on the new option because CBS at one day reinforcement parameters, okay. So in this provision, you need to give it a name, so we will call it D T, right? X, Y, right? And then the main reinforcement directions is going to be automatic, leave it automatic, get to the material. So in the material, have the concrete right there. Make sure under this provision, you select BS at one zero nineteen seventy. 1997 right there then under our grid we click in this provision choose d500 a b or c options right there okay 
then you can see the characteristic stress of the concrete right after which go to the x ls which is absolutely limit state parameters don't change anything here in reinforcement do not also change anything in this provision where we have cover to be 30 uh, millimeters okay after which click on the add options right there click on closed so we have add this okay the next thing is the thickness click in these provisions to have the new thickness dialog right there so we give it a name as x185 all right so we need our thickness to be 185 so we provide 185 millimeters right there okay after which you come to this material options and then we will use c25 the material click on the add options okay the thickness with this level already exists okay so click on the yes to modify it okay and close that so select in these provisions you can see 180 right there okay so for the model we are sure right there right and then we proceed to place the reinforce concrete slab so select in this provision first and click here to have the slab just like that okay click on the close options at this point get back to this grid line axis again and come to axis manager and then you turn off the axis the grid lines click on the okay options to turn it off and close this so we proceed to providing support for the reinforced concrete slab so you click on the support options right there so we come to the linear and then choose pin options click on the side of the slab edge to place the support successfully after which we click on closed at this point we are going to be defining the load right so before we define the load and then load this slab we will first of all generate mesh so we click on this provisions options of fe mesh the right there select this option so you have in the mesh options right there let it be automatic selections of a meshing method okay then you come to these provisions and change this it varies between 0 0.1 to 1 right so we use 0 0.1 right click on the okay options to actually generate the mesh just like this after which close this get to the analysis tab and then you select generations of computational model click on that and then this is going to generate successfully so it's been generated and then we have no warning or error right so at this point we now have to proceed to we have to proceed to loading the structure the reinforced concrete slab so click on the load types right there so you see the dead load has been created successfully so actually in the provisions i choose live load okay click on add all right so we have these two loads successfully we are going to be using to design the slab click on the close option and then get back to the load definitions right there click on the load definitions so we have this okay come to the surface options and then use this uniform planner load so right then we have to select in which of the parameters dead load first okay so for the dead load we will be applying a load of four kilo newton okay four kilo newton per square meters right in this duration it is prefix with minus because in acting downward click on the add so once you click on add to apply it here you need to know or activate the panel descriptions so you have panel one right there so you click in one right there and apply the load right there just like this okay so for the live load you can get to the ls click in this provisions and then we are going to be having a load of 11 kilo newton per square meters just like this and then click on the add as well and then apply it successfully just like this okay so after which you closed this dialog right away 
this book is very important for robot structural analysis professional user. Here are the topics from chapter 1 to chapter 13. Right there. So you get this book, the link is in the description of this video. So you get it if you want to actually know the integrity of robot structural analysis professional. Let us proceed. We want to be creating the loading combination. Click on the loads right here and then you select automatic combinations right here. So in this automatic combinations, you click on the manual combinations and then click on more. So in this provisions, yeah, you have the UFX, which is the ultimate limit state. You click on the next option. So in this provisions, we'll be dealing with load cases with respect to UFX ultimate limit state one and as well with respect to uh, serviceability restate one so we choose these two options okay for the design of this uh, we first concrete slab click on the generate so we have generated a load cases from two to four so if you click in these provisions you can see these are the load cases successful right so at this point we carry out the calculations okay of the load so you click in these provisions where you see calculations right there so this is going to carry out the calculations successfully Right, so calculation is done without having any warning, without having any error. So we yeah, are good to go to check the result of these calculations. All right, so we go to the results uh, tab right there, the provisions. Let's check the maps, okay, of this. All right, so over here in the maps, we want to look at the displacement. Okay, so select displacement right there, and then you can open it with descriptions, and then open in a new window as well. Click on the apply right. So now you can actually see the displacement uh, okay is deep at the center of the reinforced concrete slab successfully right so you can as well check the stresses and other uh and other uh, parameters right there okay you can check that later okay so let's close this right away and then close this as well so we want to check the load table we can get to the result as well slip slab and shell results right so so this will bring up a result that will show us the movement in the xx directions, movement in the yy, and as well as yx, right? So you can also check this movement based on this uh, loading combinations successfully. Just you can see, and you can create more, you can create more uh, columns right there, right? Maybe for displacement, you guys can choose that option. Displacement, click on okay. So we have this column for displacement, you can get to the global extremes options, and then you can be able to see the minimum. Uh, the minimum uh, moment, right, which occurs at the uh, load case 4. You can see it right there, right? So let's close this right there. Click on this close options to get rid of that, all right? So at this point, we want to proceed into the design of this one. So we thought of the uh, panel descriptions, we also thought of the uh, calculation modules right there. So we proceed. Get to the design tab right there, then come down to required reinforcement of ROC slabs slash wall. These options, okay. So you select these options right there. So once we'll select these options, <laughs> you will have the view cases, okay. The view cases is a uh, load case one, all right. And then over here, we we'll have a slab and shell reinforcement, okay. We we'll also have another table here for the reinforcement, all right. So at first, let's look at the slab and shell reinforcement table. This one, okay. So uh, if you come down, you will notice we have the limit state, which is the ultimate limit state, which is at load case 3, and then we have some limited limit state at load case 4, all right? So this have to be uh, just the way it is. For the method, you will have to select the equivalent moment, wood and armor options. And then in these provisions, you have to only check the reductions of forces options, okay? Just like this, all right? So, now we want to carry out the design. So if there is any warning and error, you will also see in this design. So after having selected all of this, click on the calculate. So you leave the program to carry out the design of the uh, rear force concrete slab successfully. All right. So design is successful. We wouldn't have any error. We wouldn't have any warning. All right. So we can proceed to the reinforcement. Uh, Step right there, check the area in the x minus. You can see we have area in the y minus, all right? 
So area in the x minus is actually the bottom bar in the x directions one. Area in the y minus is uh, the bottom bar in the y directions, and as well x plus and y plus is for the top bar. So you can select each of it and then you show it with description. Click on apply it. So this will show you these are the areas at the various uh, plate provisions on the slab right there. So you can check that for the y. You know, minus click on the apply it right there. So you can also see it right there. And then the keys, these are the area of the reinforcement successfully. All right, so you can check it for the top bar. All right, click on the apply it right there. So, okay, so you see it for the top bar right there. So, so you can see these are the area to be reinforced. Okay, this area we are having the contour all right to be reinforced for the top bar in the x directions as well in the y directions so you can see it just like this okay now we want to actually see the provided reinforcement for this reinforced concrete slab so you uncheck these provisions uncheck here and then click on apply it to get this back so what you just need to have to get the reinforced concrete slab selected first and then click in this provided reinforcement of roc element all right so you have this Okay, so what you see here are the areas of the reinforcement and various provision. If you check over here, you can see the X minus, which is the reinforcement areas, all right, for the bottom bar in the X direction, bottom bar in the Y directions, right there, top bar in the Y directions, in the X direction, and top bar in the Y directions, okay, so you can see this area. The reinforcement stops at this uh, blue like uh, color area, okay, why this uh, yellow like color. Area of orange like color area is for the reinforcement. Okay, all right. So we proceed to the reinforcement uh, map. So in the reinforcement uh, map options on that slab and share reinforcement, you select the provided reinforcement. This provisions having that selected, you can also uh, make this not that busy by reading the descriptions. Uh, the descriptions options, the directions options. And then you can also rule the panel zoom descriptions or the scale right there, okay? So that you have a very free uh, panel just like this, okay? After which the grid parameters is between 0 0.1 to 1, so you can actually change it to 0 0.1 right there in the both x and y direction successfully, all right? Click on generate, and then you have it uh, just like this, and this is quite very tiny, so just take it back to uh, DSS1. And the one as one generate that to get it back here, right? Just like this, okay. So we want to be providing the reinforcement parameters, right? So we click in this provision, and then you will have a dialog, okay. Calculation option dialog to this equal zero. So for the general tab here, you just have to leave it at default because you can see C1, C2 are the concrete organs right here. So concrete tab this is concrete uh, strength all right and the rest of this also this tab leave it at default come to the reinforcing bars so the reinforcing bar objects uh, h6 okay we rarely use it at site okay proceed to the next tab which is the wire fabric in the wire fabric all right in the wire fabric you we leave it at default and then come to the reinforcement for punching for these options select the diameters and choose h8 all right so having selected this successfully what you just need to click on the OK option. After which you get back to this provision reinforcement parameters. So in the reinforcement parameters dialog, we use uh we have under reinforcement tab we use rebar, okay, bars, okay, instead of wire fabric, okay, we use bars, okay. But for the straight bars, we have the maximum length, we have the minimum uh, diameters, all right. So for the length is 20 meters, okay. Leave it at default for the bars right there. Don't change anything in these provisions because this has to do with the specimens of the bars, right? So for the wire fabric reinforcement, also these provisions leave it at default. Okay, so for the constructional reinforcement, use these options on the opening corners reinforcement. So that is first options right there. Okay, then come to the shape right there. Okay, so in these provisions has to do with the hook of the reinforcement. If you want to left hook, with the one right hook it so you can change it to any angles, but I will leave it at zero zero right click on the okay option all right so having done with that settings you have to proceed to these provisions where you have calculations and then click on that calculations so once you click on the calculation select calculate all right so calculation is done successfully so what you are seeing the result here is for the top bars in the y 
uh, in the y direction. So this is top bar also in the s direction being generated. So you can see it all right right there. And then this is uh, bottom bar in the y direction. You can see it right there. All right. And then this is bottom bar in the x direction is also being generated successfully. Then you can now proceed to produce your calculation uh sheet you can come to the result right there and you will see calculation notes or you can use these options right here calculation note click right there so in this provision of calculation note you can select whatsoever you need to see click on the open options and this will take us to the calculations of this all right so you can see this is the calculation you can also print it click on the file and then you can save it as or you can print it directly to pdf all right for this to be able to this lab successfully click on the close options right so we make progress the next thing is the drawings okay so if you come over here you see drawings right there so we want to produce the complete drawings for the reinforced concrete slab click right in these provisions and then this will take us to the drawings interface the first drawing there is the slab formwork okay the slab formwork will consist of the formwork in square meters right the total concrete content of this uh, formwork right there so the second drawing right there will show us the bottom slab reinforcement successfully and then the weight of the reinforcement so you can see the detailing and how it bends the uh, level successfully then you proceed right there this is the top bar so, okay the top bar's reinforcement you can see it right there so you see it level successfully you proceed right there and then you have right here the um you have the uh, bar bending schedule or the reinforcement quantity survey right there so all of this drawing is being provided successfully right so I will get back to actually see the 3D reinforcement. You get back to the reinforcement options, and this will take you to these provisions again. At the provision, come to this uh, layout, and then you have to select um, slab reinforcement. Okay, so once you select the slab reinforcement, this will take you here. So we have uh, the two table. Okay, reinforcing bars tables. We also uh, have right here this uh, uh, reinforcement. Uh, areas and then diameter table right there so you can see we are adding uh plus so this consists of all of the uh, top bars if i select any of this right here you can see that the top bars will be actually selected in that directions okay this is the top bar in that directions okay which is the x directions the top bar in the y directions you can also see it right here okay which is x1 in the top bar in the Y direction. You can also view this in 3D. So you click in these provisions and then use these options to view this in 3D. So here yeah, are the top bars. Okay. Good, good. Get to the minus, which will show you the bottom bars in both direction X and Y. You can as well view this in 3D, just like this. So bottom bar in that direction and then bottom bar in this other direction successfully. So we have bottom in the Y, bottom in the X directions, and you can see the rebar selected for both x and y successfully for this reinforced concrete uh, slab design all right i believe uh this presentations uh, actually uh educate you on the use of proper structural analysis to complete design of roc or reinforced concrete slab successfully and then for the main drawings in autocad you will have it like this so here is the complete drawing so we have the length to be six meters by four meter which is four thousand millimeters six thousand millimeters and here is the detail of the reinforced concrete slab we just designed in robot structural analysis so this brings us to the end of this presentations don't forget to like do not forget to subscribe stay connected if you want to join our ongoing uh, Trading, you can reach to us through a link in the description of this video. Don't forget to get the book for the robot structural analysis essential. Okay, stay tuned, stay connected, and stay safe. Bye.